So Gary, what is Transition Flambed? Transition Flambed is a part of um, a really big organisational movement throughout the country and the world which addresses or faces up to the problems of um, climate change and we can say peak oil but it's running out of fossil fuels uh, which inevitably is going to happen. Um, so it's planning a future, taking that into account and plan it in a positive way rather than waiting for things to happen and then responding to what we're trying to plan ahead. Uh, consequently, one of the things we try to encourage here is uh, a local food production where we've got our local market here. Uh, and the idea is to encourage people to buy locally, encourage producers to produce food locally, uh, and so we can become more self-sufficient locally rather than depending on stuff from coming all over the world. That's one of the aspects that we're particularly keen on in the Victoria Hall. So what are your main sources of income? Um, we get most of our income from letting out the hall. Um, we've got lots of different um, things we can do now, lots of, lots of different sections. So there's the main hall, the small hall, we've got committee rooms, conference rooms, the kitchen, uh, and we can let those all out independently or together. Um, and we've got a whole range of activities going on here now, from belly dancing to sewing classes, to the church on a Sunday. Um, we have one-off events, which are live music, theatre groups. So from inheriting a building where there was a couple of things going on a week, we've got two or three, two or three things going on every day. So it's quite hard to find slots sometimes. We still have got slots, but um, no, it's been really positive in the uptake and the usage of the building. How important are volunteers in Um well, it's the bedrock of everything we do. The whole, I think this whole, for example, is all run by volunteers. The directors, uh, and we have to be, we have to be called directors because we have to be a limited company to make the thing work. We're all volunteers, um, and there are seven of us, uh, and they all do a hell of a lot of work to keep this place ticking over. Um, we've, we do engage with other volunteers, um, but we're almost at the stage now where we need someone to manage the volunteers because it's, uh, it's quite an onerous job and we're all doing as much as we can at the moment. And there are plenty of genuine volunteering opportunities to be had here. You know, anything from promoting the market to helping sweep up, from helping with, because we publish the grapevine as well, help volunteering, that's all run by volunteers as well. It's helping produce the grapevine and distribution. So there's some quite skilled areas where we need volunteers and people that could fit in anywhere in the, in the line you know, to help out here. So we're, we're very keen to have volunteers and we'll be very open to it. But, uh, without volunteers, the place wouldn't exist. So how do you market and publicise yourselves? Our main way of marketing is through the grapevine, which we, we produce, we're responsible for. Um, we, it does actually cost us some money to produce that, but we, we can't enter our marketing budget. Um, so that's the main thing, so we, we use that as a way of promoting what's going on in the Victoria Hall and the opportunities available to us. We've also got a, a website which people can refer to um, and we're also linked into the original Transition Clambit database with about 400 people on there. So any activity that's going on here, we can send out a database message to 400 people, interested people that would um, perhaps engage with it. Um, also, we've also managed to put notice boards around the building which helps us, you know, for people just passing by, letting them know what's going on here. Um, so that, that's our main dream, but I'd say the grapevine is probably the main thing that we use. So here is the addition of the grapevine that's just come out, this is February's. Um, and what we do, if people rent the hall out, then we allow them a um, quarter page free advert in here. Um, plus we also advertise our people's market. Um, plus there's the listings of all the activities that go in on in the hall during the week. This is just the regular activities. In amongst that there's lots of one-off activities that come on as well. Um, so we do, we've got a distribution of 2,500 now. So Sarah, why have you decided to have a store at the People's Market? Um, well, we love, we love Compass's Market because um, we absolutely love supporting what the Trust is trying to do in revitalising this hall, providing a service for the town um, and sort of, um, it really, really supports lots of different um, uh, 
different companies and, and uh, different charities and things like that in the area. Um, so it, uh, it's a perfect um, place for us to advertise and, um, for our company because we're only in Hymn Science, so just down the road from here. Um, and um, it's, it's indoors, so we love it. Do you think that the people's market is publicised enough? I definitely think so. It's just the unfortunate thing. It seems people don't read the posters. So, how much do you have in your bag now? How much do you have in your bag now? How much do you have in your bag now? I'm going to say that 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 Nak hin, anak nak bise, agus dili an kuasa ibu bapa nak hin. So, when so if you do the no So if you do the no that are independent of the because now the so Lucy, why do you like coming here on a Saturday? Because it's easy, it's really beautiful here, and I can have lunch, and you like cooking, I like cooking as well, yes. And you like independent living, don't you know? Yes, in the community, and you've learned a lot, haven't you? About high, high, what do you mean? Hygiene, you've done a certificate, you see? Passed your exam, you've got your colours, haven't you? Can we see a rush or a bachnad in you? A cafe bach, see, and a little hot. Am I in right here? Cyfle i fobl i ddod wedi i fwynhau te a coffee a breakfast beth bynnag maen nhw moi yn cymdeith hasi ac hefyd mae'n rhoi cyfle i'r cwmni sy'n rhedeg ar y caffi y bobl hyn y bobl nifer o'n nôl dan anfantes corfforol a maen nhw'n mor llon ar groes awgar. Yn ar nawr sy'n mwyaf pwysig sy'n mewn farchnad fyddi. Fel dwi i'n cofio ddi, pan maen nhw'n i'n mynd i farchnad, pan maen nhw'n i'n blant. Why do you come to the people's markets on a Saturday? Well, we, we come down to meet friends. We, we live up in the mountains, obviously. And we only see them basically nearly every Saturday. Yeah, every other Saturday we come down. And it's a good meeting place. We, we meet more people here, see more people today than we've seen since well, before Christmas. So, what is uh, Lampeter Youth Theatre? It's, um, it's a community group. Um, to encourage children to get involved in arts and theatre projects, um, to build confidence, encourage creativity, that kind of thing. Um, and we've got a younger group and an older group as well, so up to 10 and then 10 to 18, so that we can actually do kind of a variety of things, um, you know, focused on the different age groups. So why did you choose to use the Victoria Hall here and how beneficial has it been to light? Right, well, it's been really beneficial to light. It's become quite the hub of the community. It's a real meeting place for everyone. Everyone knows where it is. We've got space. I personally choose to do circus skills with the kids. They can throw balls up high, they can spin their hoops, and we've got the toilets. It's just got everything that I need. So Gary, you've had money from the Celtic Young Social Enterprise Growth Fund. What has this money enabled you to do and are you now um, able to sustain yourself now after getting that money? Um, because we had that money, what we could do, and it was really important for the
this building was to make the kitchen usable and really simply to make the toilets usable. Mm -hmm. They were the, the foundation on which everything else would build. Uh, now the, the kitchen is a fully up to specification catering kitchen and the toilets, people don't have to go home to go to the toilet bathroom, go to these. It's made the building usable right from a grassroots level. Um, going forward, we, we are, we can sustain ourselves with the money coming in but we can't improve the building, which is what we want to do from now on. Uh, so we will be trying to get more grant funding help. So, how many of you can now get high scan and transition some beds? Ah, sit down the chimney will be the crown van with your dominant Hannah. Well, on your edge of the case, you will dig. Well, on your edge of the pub, case are asking you call. When on your score, you are in matrix. I can only find you on your board. Um, score you an echelach na other angen. Can money get you can knock you? Ah, the case on your high mountain. Ah, and with your mind die far. Then on your edge, you may be here and move here and hang on to die far. To ni lawr y costiau rhedig, felly o'n mwyn insuleiddio'r deilad yn well, er mwyn lleihau um, costiau yni ac yn y blaen, tra ar un pryd denu fwy o bobl mewn a'u codi incwm, a thyn yn clinneud trwy gwella'r adnoddi oedd na, yna doledu newydd na, maen nhw wedi uh, creu lle i greu bwyd nawr, ei darparu bwyd ac yn y blaen, a hefyd i wella ansawdd yr deilad yn fewnol, er mwyn gallu rhentu fellan i fwy o ddigwyddiadau a mudiadau ac yn y blaen, felly o'n i'n teimlo'n grif byddai yr ddau beth na yn gweithio gyda'i gilydd yn helpu gynnal a chadw'r deilad a gwneud yr menter fwy hyn angenhaniol i'r dyfodol. So, has the fund brought economic benefit to Ceredigion or is it too early to say yet? I think it's too early to measure the complete outputs yet, but I think definitely yes, it has brought economic benefit to Ceredigion. Um, we, we've been able to measure some outputs already. The external evaluation done by Wayfield points towards good practice and the organisations themselves um, are seeing that what they were hoping being to achieve is being achieved um, and they are becoming more uh, self-sufficient etc.